What's going on, guys? This is Nathan O'Miller out here in Tucson, episode three of Moment Before. I apologize. It's a Wednesday. I understand that I said I'd be posting videos on Mondays, but it's been crazy this weekend, so I definitely wanted to reach back out to you and post another video. Ironically enough, today is my birthday. I'm turning 23, so that's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to go out later tonight, hopefully, hit up uh, downtown with a couple friends. Um, basically, I haven't gotten a lot of you know feedback or stuff that people would like to start talking about. So this is probably going to be a shorter clip. But what I do want to talk about today is constructive criticism. Um, speaking to the viewers, I don't know if a lot of people were watching episode one and two or they just started on number two or whatever. But I'm not an expert. So if you don't agree with me, that's fine. I don't care. Uh, this is just my point of view and offering my input on, you know, independent film, small project, short films, and stuff that around town. I'm not saying this is what you should do. Okay, this is not, that's not, I'm not going to tell people this is the only way to do a certain thing. No, there's, it's creative, it's, a, it's an art, right? It's supposed to be creative feel, you know, you're supposed to act. You, this is all imagination you're putting into film, you know, so it's your drive, it's your, it's your passion, go out and do whatever the hell you want, I don't care. Um, all I'm doing is offering, you know, my input, my ideas, what I see, what I don't like, and maybe some people have the same views, so maybe people don't. Uh, it's your opinion. I really don't care. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I'm fine with that. Um, being an actor, even being in this industry anywhere, you're going to get criticism thrown at you. Be there be a constructive criticism, or to go back into the world, uh, hate is going to hate. So if you just hate on people for, you know, purpose of hating on people and what they do, whatever, more power to you, you know, if that's how you want to spend your day, just tearing people down, that's fine, I don't care, really, but um, I'm not going to listen to it, just being an actor, you have to learn to let stuff roll over your back, you know, you take it, you know, from people and friends that you care about, you think they're giving you good advice, or you just ignore the people that are just trying to, you know, discourage you from doing what you want to do. So, constructive criticism. Um, with directors and stuff like that, yeah, you want to go into a project, I would say, feet first, running. You know, you want to run, you got to get your character, and then you want to let it live through you into the film. So, with constructive criticism with director or something like that, if they give you pointers, definitely lift them to them. If they're, it's their project, you're supposed to be wanting to do what they want you to do. They either hired you or you auditioned, you got the role. That's their job as the director to tell you what's best for the part and what's best for the role. So, with that in mind, just you know, think about what they're telling you. If they're trying to tear you down, maybe it's not worth your time. If you know they're making fun of you behind your back, if you don't feel comfortable with it, not worth your time. Like I said, there's a lot of people out here. It's Tucson. I understand it's a small place, but who cares? You know, there's a lot of projects out there right now. Be a big, small. I don't. You know. It's not Hollywood. You're not going to be, you know, blowing up cars with machine guns or anything like that unless you got a lot of money backing it. I'm not saying that there's nothing out there that you can't do that in Tucson, but if you know anything, let me know because that'd be fun. Um, so, like I said, it's going to be a short clip today basically because, you know, I'm wanting to get some feedback about what we should talk about. Um, so, if you have people giving you advice, take it. You know, you know, a grain of salt, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Just don't let people discourage you from doing what you want to do. I'm just two episodes in, I already have people saying, oh, that's not true, where is your schooling at, blah, 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 blah. You know what? If you have a passion behind something, you do not need to go to school to do that. If you, you know, if you feel like acting, go for it. If you want to take classes for acting, that's fine. I took classes at the U of A, I've taken classes at Pima. I've done short films with Art Institute of Tucson and their senior projects. So if you're out there wondering where did I go, that's what I've done. Okay. It's not about school. Honestly, with live theater and um, academic theater, I didn't like it so much at the very end because you have teachers playing favorites, not just looking at what the person has to bring to the board. They just go there because, oh, I want to get an easy A. That's fine. In film, I don't like that, you know, if you want to put your best foot forward and bring to the table with your whole heart and be, you know, how do I put this, uh, dedicated, if you really 
put yourself into that role, into that story, into that plot, into that movie, more power to you because that's the only way you can do it. Uh, make it real. But if you're just doing it for, hey, you know, it sounds like fun, I can just kick it, not, I don't have anything else better to do, whatever, just don't waste anybody's time. So if you feel that people are telling you, oh, you need to go to school first before you do that, schools helps, you know, taking classes and stuff like that, yeah, definitely. But not everybody, in my mind, again, my opinion, everybody's entitled to their opinion, in my mind, it's not about school. If you feel that you have it within you to be a character, and if you're you're a character yourself, um, <laughs> I think you can act. If you really, you know, study a role, study a character, you of course have to put, you know, you have to find something within that person that you reflect or you have something in common with. Then draw from that. You know, it's not about school. It's not just going there and saying, oh, I can read off a script and be able to be this person in this movie. No, it's not gonna, that's not going to cut it. You have to envelop that character and be able to show it and live it. Not just read off a script and then just be totally, you know, one, one emotion, not have range or anything like that. So, with, con with constructive criticism, you know, your friends and family might tell you, oh, that's good. You know, you might have a friend that just wants to give you something good. You know, you don't want to tell you, oh, you should probably do this a little bit like that. Or maybe that it might help you. Or here's a, here's a pointer that you're, you're doing. You're, like, you glance at the camera, wherever the camera is. I know you're not looking at, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, so, what I'm going to leave you guys with today is you want to go out there and do a project. You're the, only, you're the worst judge. You're yourself as an actor, you are the, your worst judge. I know people that don't even watch what they do in film. They won't see the final take. They'll just do the acting. They'll see maybe a little, oh, I want to change that. But they won't watch the whole film. Why? Because they're like, oh, I hate it. I hate it. Um, don't like it at all. You know what, but that's what the director sees, and the director's like, oh, you did a great job. But no, you're your worst judge. You'll put yourself down more, and you'll grade yourself worse than anybody else out there. So don't let other people keep you back from doing what you want to do. That's what I'm going to tell you about today. Um, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. Please post, subscribe. A uh, moment before, my name is Nathan O'Miller. You can find me on Facebook, Nathan o. Miller. Um, we're going to be, you know, subscribe to the channel. Uh, a little bit more information, like I said last time, is Simon is wrapping up. Marcos is almost done with the script. We're going to have the castings very soon. Keep an eye open for that. I posted some information in episode two where you can find uh, Laughing Dog Productions' is a Facebook page. So you can post in there. Arizona Actors, Independent Filmmakers of Tucson. There you go. So um, I'm going to leave you guys with that. See you guys next Monday. Again, this is the Nathan uh, with a moment before. Thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, like, comment. I don't care. Like I said, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But if you're going to hate, take it someplace else. All right. Break leg, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night.